What's up guys, Jordan Hardy here, boxing reporter. You don't have to just be a professional fighter to use Victor Conte's fighter training sack. I use it every day when I'm working out in the gym. Stay fit. I'm Jordan Hardy and I'm Snack Strong. I just want to say that myself on behalf of Matrix Boxing and obviously I'm sure Dino will speak shortly as well, how proud we are of Maurice Hooker for the way he fought tonight but also the way he conducted himself in the build up. I thought both of them were absolute consummate professionals in and out of the ring tonight. He gave it absolutely everything and we're extremely proud of him. Um, I'm going to pass over now to Maurice and I'm going to open the floor to questions. Guys, first question. Yeah. Maurice, how, how much did that first round knockdown, that they scored a knockdown, how much did that affect you going through the first round, knowing that you're down 10-8, even though it was a slip because you stepped on your foot? Um, I was pretty upset, you know, when I went back to the corner, and I was trying to explain to the real, but my coach was like, man, it's just one round. You got 11 more to go. You know, you got to take one round by the time. When he started fainting on you, did that give you problems? Because see, like the third or fourth round, that's when he kind of changed the momentum of the fight. Uh, no, I was just trying to wait on him with my right hand. I was just... I was just sit, had my mind set on my right hand, didn't think about my left hook and nothing. I had my mind set on my right hand. Yeah. Going into the fight, uh, you told me that um, it would be a tough fight for you, but after the fight now that you've been in there, what's your assessment of Ramirez and uh, what do you think of everything that was going on in there? I mean, he, he's a champion for a reason. And uh, tonight, just his night, tonight won my night. I take my head off with my head. I have nothing bad to say about him. And, uh, tonight just won my night. Did he, did he show you something that you that you haven't seen him do yet? No, nah, he ain't showed me nothing special. He ain't nothing special, but I mean, tonight is his night. He's taking my head out tomorrow. What's the weight an issue? Uh, nah, nah. Only one the issue. I, I, I may weigh pretty fine. Well, congrats on putting on a great fight tonight. What was it like fighting in your hometown I mean, your first big fight like that? I mean, it, everything was okay, you know. Uh, I wasn't distracted or nothing. It just, uh, it just won my night. Do you think? I mean, I know you didn't get the win, but do you take pride in putting on a great fight? Yes, yes. I mean, I went out, went out like a true champion. You know, if I had to choose the way to go out, I'm going out like this. You know, I want my coach stopping the fight and nothing like that. I won't take no knee. I'm gonna go out like this with a bang. Mo, uh, you stood your ground and you fought, man, and we're commending for that. Um, hindsight's twenty twenty, and everything's easier said than, than done. But do you feel like you probably wanted to move a little bit more in, in the fight tonight? Yeah, I mean, I, uh, my coach was telling me get off the ropes. But I was comfortable on the ropes. He was swinging a lot of shots, but none of them would hit me, really. It wasn't a clean shot when I was on the ropes. You know, I was blocking, and I was, uh, I was okay on the ropes. But my coach wanted me to get out, you know, and, and that was my fault. Maurice, I'm here. Uh, it was a hell of a fight. Uh, when, he, when he came in for that final sequence and stopped the fight, right. the, the first punch that really seemed to do the damage was a big hook. Was that a matter that you just didn't see it, or was it just that good of a shot that you couldn't take it? Man, to tell you the truth, I lost focus. And at this level in Boston, you can't lose focus for a quick second or nothing. I lost focus. I was trying to play with my jab, and like trying to distract him with my jab, and uh, I just lost focus. And he hit me with a clean shot. And we really you were not able to recover. You wish Mo no, would have used no, his legs a little bit more. I wasn't. I wasn't recovered. Yeah, Vince, do you wish uh, Mo would have used his uh, legs a little bit more, create more distance? spacing from the beginning of the fight? Well, that was the plan initially. Uh, we didn't want to be on the ropes. Um, you know, the slip in the in the first round got into his head a little bit, but I wanted to calm him down, and I wanted him to get on his toes a little bit more and, and use the jab, because when he did, it was really effective. But, um, you know, uh, Maurice is a fighter, man, and, and he really, you know, um, I told him one round at a time, but, you know, when he was getting, I thought he was getting back in the fight. I think it was almost even on the scorecards, almost just about, you know, he was getting back into it. and. Uh, you know, like he said, you know, he lost focus for a split second, and when you're in there with a guy like Jose, it's, you know, it, it can cost you. Vince, from your perspective, and four and five were close, both men had their, but did you feel before that left hook that you guys started to kind of turn the tide that you liked where that fight was tactically? Well, yeah, I, I, I knew that, you know, we know the fight starts after the fifth and sixth, and, uh, you know, even though Maurice started off going at it with him, you know, um, it's just one of those things, man. And only, you know, these guys are the ones in there that are throwing. And at this level, like he said, he'd get back into it. He'd do a lot of good things. And then uh, as soon as Jose would get him with a good shot, he, he didn't want to, you know, he wasn't 
We wanted to get it back really bad, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, uh, and no excuses. You know, he was great. He's in great shape. Um, you know, like you say, he lost focus. And at this level, you can't afford to do that, especially with a guy like that. But, um, yeah, I thought we were getting back into the fight. And um, But, you know, hey, my hat's off to Jose and his team. You know, um, like I said, if we would have got it, you know, it could have could have been the other way around. You know, we hit him with some good shots. And it's just, you know, the shit happens. You know, at this level, it, you know, it, he was the better guy tonight, and but I'm proud of my guy. He just, uh, you know, things happen, and uh, you know we just move on. Mo, do you have to see Jose again before your, your career's over? Is that a rematch you want? Regardless if it's four or five years from today, you want to avenge this loss, or if it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. It happens. It happens. If it don't, it don't. But I would love to fight Jose again. Hey, Mo, you represented Dallas well. Great job. I'm proud of you. Um, did his body attack? Slow you down at all? Cause he was going downstairs, upstairs. Tell you the truth, I ain't feeling like his body shots. That his body shot didn't bother me. Man, uh, Jose is a good fighter. I mean, he caught me with a good shot right on the button, but I ain't really feeling his pal. You also landed some big bombs of yourself, and I've seen people go to sleep with them. Were you surprised he was able to take your shots? Uh, nah, cause it's a championship fight. He's a champion for a reason, and I knew that I had to get him like past. The eight and nine round ready to get him out. And yeah, me, I just lost focus. I just lost it. Hey, what do you so, see as the outlook for Maurice going forward? Well, I think he's got to speak to his team. I mean, I think he may wait well this time. Obviously, not so well the time before. <clears throat> I think he may look at a move to 147. I think, uh, as I said to him in the changing room, when you're involved in a fight like that, even in defeat, your stock rises, especially when it's a unification fight against. I think right now, I'm sorry, Regis, but on paper, and the performances and the opponents beat, you have to say that Ramirez is number one in the division. That might change in October. Nah. If, if Regis... <laughs> <laughs> it's, true. Nah. it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. 24 no 20 knockouts never even been tested yet. Never even yeah, been close. You may be better than Ramirez. I saw, never, I saw one resume. junior welterweight's hand raised, uh, raised tonight, and so that's the number one guy in the division. Now, what happens down the road, we'll have to see. That's boxing. Uh, any more questions for Maurice? Yeah, Mo, uh, given the situation in the first round, and obviously we saw in the replay that it was not a knockdown, it was, it was you stepped on your foot, would you be in favor of instant replay in boxing? Every other major sport has it. So, yes, I mean, that'd be a good idea, you know. Probably would cut me down a little more going to the second round, because I was pretty pissed off about that call. I mean, he clearly stepped on my foot, but, you know, I had no excuse. If the, if the fight had been held in Nevada, there, which has instant replay, that knockdown would have been reversed. So they would score a 10 9 instead of 10 8. Yes, exactly. Well, let me ask you every fighter, whether victorious or in defeat, they learn something from themselves. What did you learn from yourself today, tonight? To tell you the truth, I feel like I beat myself. I know at this level right here, I can't lose focus like that. And uh, I mean, I beat myself. They're going to they gonna hurt me. They're going to kill me for the next couple of weeks, knowing that I beat myself. I mean, I, I just I beat myself. You know, both of you guys had moments throughout the fight. Uh, there was times where he did have you on the ropes and he was landing, or rather throwing a lot of punches. Was the strategy for you to get him tired in which he would come on more in the second half of the round? Yeah, that was, that was my strategy. I went and, like, swing yourself out. Then when I take a break and get a breath, I'm going to attack him, you know, go to the body. And, no, uh, he's a two ten. Mo, and then, um, do you guys feel comfortable with how the ref stopped the fight, especially with what happened this past year? Do you guys feel comfortable with that? Yeah, I mean, from my point of view as a spectator, that, you know, Maurice's head was, was going back repeatedly. The ref did jump in very quickly, but I think watching it back on the replay, I think it was the right decision. And I think that it was because of the hand speed of Jose and the attack of Jose. You know, if he would have taken his time and I think Maurice would have been okay to continue, but it was the speed of the punches repeatedly knocking his head back. You know, I don't know how you feel about stoppage, but I feel like it was, it was, a, it was good. It was a good stoppage. I, I was hurt. I was hurt. You know, the message for all the fans, the arena here was crazy. You, you put up a great fight. Message to everyone who came out and supported. Yeah, I, I thank everybody from Dallas, and uh, I will be back. It's at the end of me. We'll see you before the end of 2019. I'm going to go back for it, spend time with my kids. Yeah, I miss my kids.
Maurice, what do you think about a rematch with Salcedo in the future? That was a great action by you, my knockout. That's something that makes sense at some point? I would hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> Maurice, um, sorry. Uh, looking back, if you could have done things a little differently from the first round, what would you have done? Or, would, or are you okay with, from the outset, how the fight played out, even despite the bogus knockout? I'm okay with my performance. Uh, if I go back, I probably just stay focused. You know, I just got, got you know, fighting home. I got caught up the crowd and just not thinking about the guy in front of me. I was thinking about my hand being raised already, being the champion. I just lost focus, man, and, and, and that can happen. At this level right here, you can't lose focus for a, a second. And you see what happened. Was, was the crowd, like like we said, affecting the powers out like before walking to the ring, or was that during the, during the fight? Not, not during the fight, you know, we just heard when I get hit, I hear them screaming, when I hit the crowd, I get away. Just lost me, you know, it's my first big fight back at home, you know. I mean, I have no excuse, I lost, it won my night. Yeah, lost question. next fight, do you feel like you need to get on the road again, you know, take a fight away from home, so you can kind of get that focus back, you know, the day before the fight, the day of the fight? Uh, um, I, I come back to dance. I, I fight anywhere, you know. With me, it don't matter where I fight. You know, I, I come to fight every day. I came to fight tonight, and it just today just won my day. Hey, Jim, great performance. Thank you.